if I pull this leaf that we looked at here on the top, it almost looks pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if you turn it over, you can see all that gray hash. The work of spider mites. Entomologist Dr. Scott Stewart with UT Extension says these creatures are barely visible, just specks really. But it's easy to see what they can do to a cotton plant, avoiding the bowls, but draining the leaves of the nutrients needed for a healthy plant to grow. Yeah, we call them an indirect pest because they don't attack the part, the direct part that you're harvesting. They're actually feeding on the leaves, they'll feed on the individual cell contents of the leaves, and they actually inject a, tox a toxin when they do that. This pest is not technically an insect, but more closely related to a spider with its eight legs. Here's an extreme close-up of one. Stewart says once they invade a field, they do their damage quickly. So if you're not paying attention to a field, not scouting it very thoroughly, it can go from a little bit of mites to, oops, I've got some serious injury and, and yield loss out here in about you know two week period of time. Spider mites really thrive when the weather turns hot and dry. They only live five to seven days, but females lay up to 100 eggs in their brief lifetimes. And with 2010 being one of the hottest summers in recent memory, this year has been bad for spider mites in Tennessee row crops, especially in cotton. They're particularly bad in sandy areas because the cotton is already stressed and the spider mites just bring more stress onto the cotton. And like I said, they can cause the, the leaves to fall out and defoliate the plant and cause significant yield loss. Farmers aren't defenseless here. There are so-called miticides that can be sprayed on crops. But often for these to be effective, the spraying has to happen early in the growing season. It's also just another headache and expense for farmers like Jimmy Moody. We've treated for some this year. We've actually, uh, spider mite uh, miticides, the, the material that we use to control uh, spider mites is very expensive on a per acre basis. And we actually had a rig constructed that would allow us to spray the plants only versus broadcast. UT experts say it's not just row crops at risk here. Spider mites will also eat fruit and vegetable crops and even attack ornamental plants. Meantime, farmers want to see green leaves on their cotton plants, not red ones. And we'll know the impact spider mites had on our cotton crop when yields are measured at harvest time in a few weeks. This is Chuck Denny reporting.